Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. This is your future favorite potato, just another potato, and welcome to another video of Enigmatica 9 Expert. And I'm here on the main source storage. This episode, uh, we made a way so we can uh, create more storage and be able to transfer the storage from a central point to all around the base. So we have this small tank uh, right now with 350 buckets of, of uh, liquefied source which is uh, sent through some uh, through some piping systems into the places we actually need the the regular storage the regular source and we also redid the, the way we produce source now we use a more complex uh, potion in order to produce source from potions uh, using uh, sweet berries abjuration essence redstone and mandrake roots so all this process it it it, uh, it crafts at the end some grievous wounds of 12 minutes and this is converted into source and transfer and, and transfer it into a a buffer here and then into main storage but in this episode i want to do a bit more of infrastructure work as i told you on the last episode we need to change some stuff and some stuff uh, is it is included logistics and storage that we come here to our weird sprig uh, farm this is all full and there is no no uh, no way of uh, of storage of storage in all of this in a central point same happens here with the trick me everything is full so I want to do some uh, some some kind of storage system, at least just to, to storage the stuff. Then I just come here and then just move it to the places I needed to, to have them. Apart from that, I also want to uh, to create a kind of be a piary or something like that. I want to set a place uh, in order to to spawn some bees and get honey bottles and beehives. Beecombs, sorry. I'm planning on doing it here. But mainly what I want to do in this episode is just logistic stuff. So getting uh, better storages for for the places we need to sort and filter stuff. Yes, and that simple things. I also did here a small hole because I want this place to be our create kind of workshop. But uh, we will be working on this on the next episode, not today, because I want to I want to uh, give its own episode to all of this work. Although I'm still deciding on what kind of color palette in order to, to use on this uh, on these underground rooms. I'm thinking of using for the floor some scoria and some tower wood planks. And for the walls maybe cut eye right. And then the the ceiling I might want it to use scoria and then uh, use encased uh, tower wood for some detailing. And maybe the floor is the Instead of using cut scoria, I'll be using some granite or granite I'll be using in the ceiling. I still don't know. But uh, yes, I'm just uh, looking which kind of colors to use. And here I have almost everything prepared in order to commence with everything. And I want to set up two things uh, first. So the first thing I want to set up is anima the anima essence generation you only need some uh, bottle of blood charm of life 2 and letting god not really that hard to produce 
And then they should be producing Anima Essence something now. Yes, and here is Anima Essence. I know why it, uh, it started with uh, 90 and something uh, percent. So we'll, you, we just have to filter there and here. And there we will be getting our Anima Essence. The next thing I want to set up is uh, some coke ovens. For now, I'll be just setting them in here. I really don't need the. Uh, I really don't have a place for it now. But I should be able to start crafting some some creosote oil. We will need in creosote for production of uh, of treated wood planks, and we will need in treated wood planks in this episode. So that's why I want to have it produced right now, because also this is a quite a slow process. So whenever this finishes uh, producing, I should get uh, a quarter of bucket of creosote oil. So I'll just leave this producing while we work on other stuff. As well as anima essence, I'll just leave this producing because it will take quite a bit of time to produce. And while while we do that, I need to work on two circles that we will be using on this on this episode. So the first one is this Aviar circle. In order to produce the um, the logistic course, and then this Birox uh, circle in order to get some uh, some, some gates uh, some gates that will give us some uh, some rewards. Now, of course, in the future, I want to prepare a a, a, a proper space for for these circles and rituals. But for now, I'll just uh, randomly put them around this place. This is actually quite a small circle. I thought it would be it would be bigger. Now this this other circle, I want to. Put it a bit, uh, a bit apart from our main base because we will be spawning some mobs using this circle. I really don't want them near the base. With these two circles done, we can start crafting some logistic cores. And for the logistic cores, uh, we need to, to use an engraving spirit. There are four, uh, four in, uh, there are four engraving spirits. Being this uh, this foliot, the slowest. And the Madrid the fastest one but of course uh, they don't use the same ritual so for example if we want to uh, use the fastest one we will need to use uh, this purple um, no sorry not this it's a frit in the... this madrid we will we will need to use this, uh, well, first this huge uh, circlet, and also I think some red, uh, some red chalk. And if we come here to the occultism chapter, red chalk is is quite the craft, so we need a fruit essence, and for a fruit essence we need to do this uh, this ritual. We will be needing this, uh, this kind of sword, and this sword is only obtainable through the Aura Forge. 
And the Aura Forge is quite an advanced uh, craft. We need a lot of stuff. And we need uh, the Tree of Life Stitch 1. So we need to finish through chapter 1 in order to unlock that. So that's why we, we are going to start with this lowest one. And hopefully we will be getting the fastest wand uh, in the future. Because logistics course is something that we will be using a lot also in the future. Now I'm doing a second dictionary of, uh, of spirits. Because I, I don't know what what uh, would happen if I turn this this certain eccentric tome into into the book of binding because this eccentric uh, tome has all the documentation necessary for all the uh, main mods that this uh, mod pack has. It's not really uh, that hard to craft, but still I, I don't want to lose it. So you save it here for now. So using the, the Aviar Circle, first I have to bind this this dictionary of spirits to the to the um, you know the folio that we we want to we want to um, summon, and we only have to do now is just set up uh, all the items. That are required for the ritual. And now we should be able to active to activate the the ritual just by putting this uh, book of folio here. Okay. This is my new friend, Board Horkill. I mean, this is not that uh, it's not that slow. But now we get our logistic course. Now this opens. Can I? Ah, yes, and you will be, you will be like this. Oh, and we can autom uh, we, we can kind of automatize this with um with some uh, drink mirrors. No, drinks no, uh, with uh, starbuckles. So they can grab the items that this throws. And then uh, just uh, set the inventory for it. Uh, whatsoever. This uh, logistic course will be very useful uh, from now on. It also it open it open us a huge uh, you know huge logistical feature. So we have these new item transporters. We should be able to craft now some uh, some of these tunnels and funnels that we weren't able to to craft. Also, these storage controllers that we will be using uh, today, and just yes, quite uh, quite some other useful stuff. Of course, I'm quite curious about something. I went back to storage to get one of these soul gems and I'm thinking um, because it doesn't seem that uh, you can move it I mean other than just pushing it but it, it doesn't follow you and it just you know it, it is just there sitting there so I, I'm thinking uh, maybe can, I can move it with, a, with an empty soul gem And have it uh, in a place uh, it will be more comfortable to have. Yes. Okay. So can I transport it outside the Avier Circle? Or does it have to be inside the Avier Circle? Let's see. So imagine I put you in here. Oh, yes, it works. And I already have five buckets of creosote oil that it, would, it is much more than enough uh, for today's episode.
Now with the creosote oil and some planks, we should be able to make treated wood, no? What's the craft for treated wood? Ah, we have to fill it on the spout. And the spout is copper casing. I, I, I think I have copper casing here. Yes, yes, I have a copper casing. And I shall also be... I shall have leather. Yes, I have so much leather. And with this, I have this spout. I'll take this. Now, does this need rotational force? It doesn't seem to need the rotational force. So if we grab this and fill it, no, but ah, uh, but maybe I do need to fill it through um, through some pipes or maybe through a what is this called? This one item drain. Need some iron bars. Oh, can I craft iron bars? That's the question. No, I can't get iron iron bars. Mm. So yes, it will have to be through uh, some uh, through some training. So let me work on something very quick. And um, does it work? Yes, it works. Okay. No, of course I need to a uh, way to. Put all the curious oil that I'm producing here into into this uh, fluid tank, uh, fluid drawer. Sorry, but now I should be able to just yes, and we have pretty to put there. We also need some de tablets of warping. This is easy. We already had some warping. Warp scrolls, yes. And I should be able to just maybe let's do four. Uh... Yeah, let's do four. Four controllers for now. And oh, oh here. Yes. And with this, we should have our first. The storage controllers. Nice. And just to make it look better, let's um, let's just do it framed. I don't have six. Let's just frame it and let's use some. Strip uh, elder wood and regular mangrove, and that's our storage controller. Nice. I already made some uh, regular drawers and gold upgrades. Now, I know we we've recently built all of this. But I have to take all of this out <laughs> in order to reorganize uh, reorganize this uh, these small passive farms. Because I also want to have four more uh, weird sprigs on the other side, so I can get like two types of crops. Let's just say like two sets of crops that I want to plant. So for now, I'll just have to take everything out. <laughs> It's going to be quite the work. And let's just also this this one out for now. So we make sure that it doesn't produce any more products. Now um these uh, weird sprigs they can also 
put items into storage controllers and this uh, the items that goes here will will go directly to the places uh, that they are set up to go so to this frame storage i really don't know where to set them uh, yet possibly i'll be just sitting setting them up uh, like here around uh, these corners like here maybe some and then some here and what we want to do is link this uh, controller to all of these uh, these storages. And now any item that comes here, for example, imagine I have uh, have sweet berries, right? So I set this storage to have uh, sweet berries here. I should be able just to click from here, and it will be transferred here directly. And then, then I can just come here and uh, take whatever I need uh, from these uh, storages. And I don't have the problem of a chest uh, filling out, filling up. I might also install some void upgrades. These void upgrades. Obsidian is not that hard to get. It's uh, washing magma blocks. Magma blocks you get from combining a stone with fire essence. It's not really that hard to get obsidian. I could get a bunch of void upgrades and put them here. And I'll just put uh, some gold upgrades in the drawers that I know that those items I want to keep more. Because at the end, each drawer can, can keep uh, around 1000 of each item and 2000 and something items in total. So I do want to upgrade some, some drawers here and put some void upgrades also. So there are no items that are, are kind of lost in quotation marks. Now I also need to kind of uh, filter some other blocks that I really don't don't want on, uh, to get collected, but they will have to get collected. <laughs> So all of these uh, kind of flowers and stuff. So in this in this uh, circle, I want to have a mandrake berries, mage bloom, nether wart, sage, uh, dragon's fruit, demon's fruit, sorry, belladonna, uh, mugrot, and yellow duck. And then I'm, I'm just putting some drawers for uh, flowers and moss and uh, this kind of wood that will also be collected passively and I'll leave these other two drawers empty just in case there is something that uh, something else that that uh, gets collected now I actually need to set up uh, <laughs> this other uh, this other this other circle um, yeah, I'll take some time to do this <laughs> I think this circle is also ready. I don't need a relay that I forgot to get. So now I have a better uh, crop production and it's a bit more organized. And now I can actually buffer crops in here. That will be more simple than just uh, coming and then uh, getting, you know, uh, emptying the chest and then going back and then, yeah, it's better. <laughs> Actually, I also want to put <laughs> to put a one for the uh, for the golems. So we throw we two drawers will be just fine. You can grab all the amethyst. And also setting up a a gold um, a gold upgrade here. I 
Tem BTs. Ali certo os cortes. I'll give this also an upgrade. They just set, uh, sent the items they collect into these drawers. Not yet, because I have to link them. <laughs> no. No, they should uh, just send the... All the items into these drawers. Hopefully. <laughs> Yes, it seems it is working, so... And finally, I also want to send, set the same thing here. I think this is going to be easier, or rather simpler, than, uh, than the rest. So I can just set the drawers here. No, 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 cow, cow, no, 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 you go to that side, please. Oi. Okay, the cow just escaped the prison. Um, <laughs> okay. I'll have to set them like maybe here then. I didn't expect the cow to just like escape like that. No, go, my friend. I need you to go back, please. Yes, yes, yes. Go, 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 go there. Yeah, thank you. Now the same. I'll link this drawer into the... I'll link everything here. Workshop. And I should be able just to clear this inventory. And I'll, and I'll just leave this one here. And what can I do is just come back to main source storage. Then somehow come around here. This is so uncomfortable to travel around. And then just turn on this. I mean, turn off this clutch. And then turn on this uh, pipe. This pipeline. And now I can just comfortably be able to produce a lot of stuff. And also the berries and mandrakes that are used in order to produce the, the potion itself. In the... I finish with this small area for the bees. I think I'll start with the six beehives. For now, um, and actually eight bees. I have enough materials for to spawn eight eight, uh, eight bees. Then uh, I'll be just uh, populating all the beehives uh, with everything the bees. I have some campfires below some of these beehives, so whenever I sh either shear or uh, battle, uh, right click with a battle on the beehives, I don't get attacked by the bees. Bees. And I've been also letting all of this stuff run, I've been letting the witches run a bit. And, um, yeah, I mean. It's not that much. 
is actually not that much and I am scared that uh, that I won't be producing enough berries or mandrakes even though I think uh, those ones are the ones they have the most here planted together with uh, the mage blooms and other world but yeah we will have to see we will have to see but anyway the plan now is to um, is to spawn some some bees here now the yes i'll be spawning the bees and putting them inside some soul gems uh, for so in order to spawn a bee I need the uh, spirit of Burton and, and not say what's I Daisy. These ones you can find around uh, the world. And the spirit of Burton is just uh, infusion uh, honeycombs. So I'll just like throw these both of them. It will properly spawn a bee. And I can just grab them with the soul gem. Like this. Oh, I've already tried in a in another world. Uh, if uh, if I could get uh, passive resources uh, using Rigmix, but it was not possible. Um, I couldn't uh, make it so I could get either honeycombs or or uh, or honey from them. Uh, but we but yes. I suppose this will really work. So you have to right click here. And they should uh, be working with the flowers I have here. I've made sure there is no like a lot of flowers around this zone. So they only uh so they only work with these flowers here. But they don't go like to the other side of the world. But if I see that uh, there are bees that are escaping, I'll just build a, a corporeal eye. And that supposedly will avoid uh, these bees to, to escape a certain zone. Now I'll just have to let the, the bees work and do their stuff. Now, and the last thing I want to do uh, in this episode is this... Uh, Death Stone Gate Pearls, so we can get some uh, some Death Stones. Oh, I can't. Uh, anyway, so these Death Stones, uh, whenever uh, we we uh, we kill them, uh, we will be getting some uh, glyphs. These glyphs here from Mars Nebel. They will be very very important to, uh, to just learn and have some for example one of the glyphs I actually want is the glyph of of leap I think it was called I don't remember but <laughs> but there was a, a glyph that uh, that I thought it would be interesting to use in order to get uh, get out of, of this hole and enter this hole so I can just take this cobblestone tower out, uh, out and then I only use the glyph to to avoid the the falling damage and also to get out of this hole hopefully we can get it from these uh, these death stones so 151 uh, anima essence that's quite a lot. Maybe we can do 16 rounds. So we can get a lot of, of glyphs. Now, we should be able to just put uh, all the stuff that we need. Put two bookshelves and the block of emerald. No, the block of emerald goes in the center.
you know, these gates are like the ones uh, that appear on the on the uh, when we try to break spawners. Oh, it's already everything <laughs> so filled. So much life they have. Is that the, the, pin, the loot in piñata? So much stuff is now in the floor. Oh, so much stuff. <laughs> so much loot. I mean, they're not that strong. It's just now that they will... Um, they will... Uh, how to say it? Um, it will tank so much, so much damage now. Yeah, yeah, and thanks to this uh, loot piñata, it doesn't seem that I'll really be needing to summon that many of these uh, gates. So much stuff, and I don't think everything will be... Yes, yeah, so I'll just use this. I have a... One of these uh, ender crates on main storage. So what I can do is just uh, throw everything here in a uh, a book room. Will no, sorry, no way. Uh, what was this called? I forget. Um, I always forget its name. The Starbuckle. I uh, will transfer it into a... into one of the bolts. 45 glyphs of this spell. <laughs> Let's take one glyph of each. 26 of shrink. 25 of lay on hands. AOE. Glyphs of delay. It's already... It's already learned. It's undead. Layer. So I've been playing around for a while with some uh, with some of these spells and just now it just spawned one of these uh, of these apotheosis mini bosses and maybe I can uh, I can try and see how good is this I mean is that something you would be using for regular damage. I think I, I've saw, I saw once uh, like a small guide on you know just it appeared on my recommendations on uh, some crazy spell combination that would deal a ton of damage but at the end I'm not using this uh, to deal that much damage with this leap Leap spell. I can just, for example, go like here and just leap myself inside the base. And the same if I want to go out, I just leap. And then it just goes so high and then just leap back to the ground. It's way cooler. It's cool. Now, uh, with that set, and with these beehives in my back. 
Thank you for watching if you are still here. This is the end of the episode. We did um, a lot and not a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't know why that uh, the the weird sprigs are not producing uh, berries or stuff like that. I'll take a look uh, between episodes. But for now, that's everything with that, 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 that's everything for today. Thank you for watching if you're still here. And you know, I hope you have a better day because every day can be always be better. Is that how I normally say it? Well anyway, thank you and goodbyes. Woo! Wee!